Eight easy ways to up your watercolor game? What? Hey guys, I'm Melanie. Welcome back to my art studio. Today we are going to be learning eight different watercolor techniques the foundations of watercolor. Once you learn them, you will find they are very useful and you can practice them and get better and better at them. So what do you need? You need alcohol. You need paints. These are pretty basic paints. That's cool. You need a sponge. You need salt. Salt. You need water. You need brushes, a paper towel, a wax crayon or a white crayon, and you need your watercolor paper. Watercolor paper. Paper from the copier won't work, okay? So, we're gonna have water, what on? <laughs> okay, so we've got eight different techniques. Here they are. Wet on wet, wet on dry, dry brush, mopping, salt, alcohol, wax resist, and bleeding. Okay, so the first one, wet on wet. The first thing you need, oh my goodness, look at that. I was playing with paints before. You're going to get your paper wet, because it's wet on wet. And the reason you do that is there's something really cool about watercolor is it goes where the water is and it does not go past where the water is. It's pretty crazy. So let me show you what that means. So look carefully. Can you see how it's it spreads wherever the water goes, but then it doesn't go past. It's like this little barrier. And that is wet on wet. And it has kind of a, a fuzzy technique. It looks cool. And I mean, you can go past where it's wet, but that's what it looks like when it's wet on wet. Next one, wet on dry. Paper's dry, brush is wet. So I'm gonna go for the orange. Put a little on there. You probably recognize that. That's what most people have tried before. So there you go. That's easy. So far, so good. All right, next one, dry brush. Oh, we need a dry brush for that. So, dry brush. Oops, I just got my brush wet. It's such a habit. Okay, we're just gonna wipe that right off. And I'm gonna go with a paint. That's why I got it wet so I could get the paint wet. But I'm gonna go with a paint that's already wet. And this is dry brush. You can actually see the texture of the paper here. You can, this is a good technique for uh, grass and uh, just nice texture. Okay, the next one is mopping. So we're gonna take our bigger brush. We have two different techniques we can use for mopping. We have a big moppy kind of a brush and we have a sponge. So let's see which one works better. I'm gonna put in the blue because this technique is really good for making clouds. Happy little clouds. Oh, Bob Ross. All right, so we're gonna put down a lot of pigment here, only to pick up some of it again. All right. Okay, so it's nice and wet. Let's check out the sponge. Okay, so you got trying to pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. And the idea is to get a little bit of light in there to make it look like a cloud. So maybe I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get my sponge wet here and sort of pick it up. There we go. Oh, oh nice. That looks kind of cool. All right, so the other one is mopping and you're rolling your brush. I want it kind of wet and clean. So we're gonna take the brush like this and then we're gonna put it in there and push and roll. And there we go. Oh, that looks nice. That looks 
looks like a cloud. Okay, so that's mopping. The next one is salt, and I'm going to go back to my other brush. And I think I'm going to use black because black is nice and dark. Oh, you know what? This isn't black, this is purple. That's even better. Alright, so we're going to make this pretty thick and we're going to sprinkle some salt over the top because salt, when it's sprinkled on there, you can kind of see that the salt soaks up the pigment and when it dries, you kind of flick the salt away and it becomes a little starburst. So it's kind of nice for uh, like a snowy scene or maybe stars. Um, those are two good examples, I think. So the next one is alcohol. And alcohol kind of reminds me of a science experiment. So, whoops. All right, so we're gonna put down the green. And again, it works better if you have plenty of pigment color on your paper, all right? I'm going to just, I'm going to just unscrew this because my spray bottle doesn't work very well. And I'm just going to kind of, whoa, look at that. Pretty cool. And so it kind of does the opposite of what salt does. Salt kind of sucks up the pigment and the alcohol pushes it away. <laughs> All right. So the next one is Wax Resist. Wax Resist is a super duper cool tool. My brother. Um, when you're trying to keep the white of the paper, um, when you are using watercolor, it kind of does its own thing. So the wax resist is kind of a barrier that keeps the the paint away. So let's see. I'm gonna put a secret message here. Not really put a secret message. That's what I tell my kids to do. Let's write a little secret message. I think that's very cool. But you have to do it nice and dark, and I don't know if I did it in the same place both times or not. I've used pretty much everything. I'm use black. Okay, that'll work. I'd use yellow, but it's not very dark, so. And then you can go back and you can even use your sponge to wipe off the little marks. Maybe, maybe a paper towel. <laughs> maybe a little water. Okay, so there's your wax resist. And the last one, last but not least, because that's my fave, is bleeding. Sounds pretty gruesome, but it's really not. Um, bleeding is basically um, two of the pigments coming together and creating another color. So let's use enough water here. We're gonna put down some blue. And this time I am gonna use the yellow. Make sure the water's getting kind of dirty. But it'll be fine. I'm gonna Somebody put green in my yellow. That's okay. So I'm gonna put the yellow right down, right next to the green. Oops, next to the blue. And look what, it's just, it's making green. Right off the bat. So I'm gonna do a little bit more yellow. See, it's just, look at that. How cool is that? It's bleeding. Green. There you know. Then y'all make green. So that's bleeding. That's the best I've ever done, I think. That's pretty cool. Alright, so that's eight. All of them are pretty cool. Practice them and you will find that they are very useful. Thanks for stopping by. Um, make sure that you leave a comment and like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.